Uh, we've got another great event that we're going to talk about here uh, on the Chamber Exchange, and that is the Longzell Classic. And it's sponsored by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts. And I want to welcome as our guest uh, Sarah Stephanie from uh, uh, Stefani from B Blue Cross Blue Shield, who uh, has been active on a lot of fronts here locally, and Don Injimi uh, as well from the Long Show. Uh, Don, maybe for our viewers who are not familiar, uh, this is the third year, and the Long Show Classic is a series of races over a few days, and just give us our... Over a weekend, yeah. It's, it's actually the 55th year for, of the race, and the third year in Worcester, in the fourth in uh, Leominster, and again the 55th in Fitchburg. Um, it's been, uh, the Longs Joe Foundation was founded four years ago and when we took over the race. Uh, we had a thousand riders and we had a, uh, let's say a, a difficult time getting sponsors because the race hadn't happened for a couple of years. Um, but Blue Cross Blue Shield stepped right up to the plate. You know, it was really, uh, thankfully. And uh, we really, it's all about health and wellness uh, with children. Boys and Girls Clubs involved, right. and we have a really big uh, kids race. But the Long Show Classic was started in, in, in recognition of an athlete from Fitchburg who was a two-time Olympian. Yeah, actually. Art Long Show. Yeah, and you can't do what he did anymore. And uh, then we say a two-time Olympian. He was competing in both the winter sports and the summer. In the same year, in 1956. S cycling and skating, right? Correct. Yeah. And you can't do that any longer because they stagger the Olympians, the Olympics. Right. Um, he was a phenomenal athlete and unfortunately got, uh, uh, got uh, killed in a car accident uh, in 1958, two years after. And we've had the race uh, in memory of him ever since. And we've had phenomenal athletes from around the world. Still, they come in, but the Lance Armstrongs of the world and right. the Eric Hydens of the Olympics, all of them have come through and won the race. So we've seen cycling grow and expand. This race started in Fitchburg. Now it's Fitchburg Lemister. And now uh, this will be the third year in Worcester. And, and Sarah Stefani from uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, you guys have stepped up and helped uh, facilitate this happening. And why does Blue Cross Blue Shield get involved? Well, for Blue Cross, you know, we're all about encouraging healthy living. So healthy eating, healthy active lifestyles, healthy environments, that's really our platform and what we focus on. And the Longs Joe is just such a no-brainer. It's a win-win. It's a great community event. It really brings some economic activity and excitement to downtown Worcester. Um, and it's encouraging a healthy activity. So along with the pro races, which are just really exciting. I mean, they're really zooming down those roads pretty fast. Um, the kids' races are adorable and a really nice way to get kids excited about learning a new sport, cycling. Um, we've got, uh, this year there's been an amateur race that's been added and some mayor's races. So just some really fun ways for all different people to get involved. Right. I mean, one thing we know, and I know it's a big focus of, 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 of the healthcare community and certainly Blue Cross Blue Shield, if we can get young kids active earlier, uh, less uh, likely of, of obesity developing and then, you know, less when there's obesity not obesity issues, right. they live healthier lives and <laughs> Right, physical activity is just such a huge part of health and wellness and kids growing up, you know, doing productive activities and, and feeling healthy and good and um, and so it's, it's this is a really great opportunity for, for Worcester. And, and so the Worcester part of the race, uh, Saturday, June 26th. Correct. Going to start at 3 o'clock and, and for, for our viewers who have not been at this race, uh, you know, I've grown up a sports fan my whole life. It is one of the most unique kind of experiences as a fan to go down and watch these cyclists kind of go around this criterium, which might be Correct. called a, a racetrack, but or it's crit, actually yeah. it, crit, crit in, crit for sure. in the downtown. But it is just a really fan-friendly uh, experience. And so, Don, maybe you could set it up. It starts at 3 o'clock on the Common in downtown Correct. in Worcester. Um, and it, it, it's a, a, just under a mile lap around City Hall. Um, and one of the things you had just mentioned, it's very spectator friendly. Uh, one of the advantages of uh, the cycling race is you get to see the racers come, come around you every minute and a half, two minutes. And, uh, and like you alluded to as well, it's fast. I mean, and, and a lot of people don't understand it's just like a NASCAR race, they're teams. So there's a, uh, you know, three or four guys up front with their sprinter behind and they're waiting for their sprint, you know, they, they're drafting and they're waiting for their sprinter to come, uh, come out and take the lead. It, it's pretty exciting. Um, I'll always have that memory in my mind of you, Tim, the very first year oh, we yeah. had it. I have a, a still picture of it, but I was standing next to you and you had a little cowbell and you were screaming yeah. at these riders when they come by. But they, I mean, they're phenomenal athletes, uh, giving it their all out, out on the streets, oh. you know, taking corners uh, and, and just, uh, you know, competing in a great way. But this year, 3 o'clock, it's going to start. Food trucks on the common. 
food trucks. And from what I understand, uh, uh, looks like Coors Miller Light is putting a beer stand or a beer uh, tent right uh, right behind City Hall, right next to the food trucks. Uh, Mayor Joe Petty was. Yeah, the mayor's been a big champion. Yeah. So, so in addition to the kids race, which is again is really exciting, getting kids active, you know, out there promoting kind of healthy living. Uh, also, there's going to be a mayor's race. So the mayors of Fitchburg, Worcester, Lemonster are all going to have a little race. This is going to be phenomenal. I, 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 as soon as long as we've had the race, I've never had so much media contact me, and it's all about the mayor's race, not about the pros. And uh, correct, uh, all three mayors are going to race each other in each city. Uh, for one lap sprint, if you will. Um, I had one mayor's assistant call and require, kind of humorously, but require that we have an ambulance behind, <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Uh, but they'll all be outfitted with helmets and you know for autographs and all that custom, uh, stuff later. And they're all ra uh, riding and racing for charities, right? Local right, charities, right? And uh, just you know the the the, the races, you know the kids race, the mayors race, but male and female, uh, uh, the other races. Different ages, maybe just on that. So it's a series of races. It's a happen. series of races. Yeah, we have four different races in uh, Lemonster and four in uh, in Worcester, and a multitude of races in Fitchburg. There are a lot of categories uh, that are amateur, but they're just uh, there are some of these people in these uh, male and female categories that have been pro and that can't keep up their points, um, and they're up there trying to get some make some money and some points to become professionals. Um, it, it's it's quite uh, it's quite the event to see these. If you can imagine, if right. if you've people have been on a bike um, in your lifetime, to be on a bike and pedal fast, but to think about racing 50 miles in a sprint, they're basically sprinting for 50 miles. That kind of endurance and athleticism that it takes to to yeah. do this is just phenomenal. So the the kids race, mayors race, a lot of the events that going on. 4:30 starts and it goes for a few hours. The different races. Right? Well, we'll end right about eight o'clock, uh, yeah. about eight p.m. Um, and for you New Englanders, uh, I did that forecast already for the weather, and it looks like it's going to be mid 70s and sunny the whole weekend. Right. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, again, to Blue Cross, uh, getting making this happen, getting people out, family friendly. Uh, healthy living, lifestyles, uh, while seeing athletes of all different ages and genders competing. It's such a great thing to be a part of, and you know, the partnership between Destination Worcester and the city and the chamber and the Long Show Foundation is just a really great team to be working with. Well, we're really pleased uh, that the Blue Cross Blue Shield has you know, helped launch this in Worcester, and we're in our third year and successful, and uh, literally right outside the Blue Cross Blue Shield door at 446 Main Street where your team works, and uh, very appreciative of, of that. And Don, to you and your team, uh, you know, thank you. And again, put it on your calendar, June 26th, if you have not been to the Long Show Classic or had a chance to experience bike uh, cycle racing, uh, you've got to get down there. It is a, a really uh, unique experience, a fun experience, 